it appears that the time for an Iranian strike has come. Iran has begun moving all of its missile systems, especially ballistic missile launchers and platforms, to strategic locations within its western regions. This repositioning signals an impending strike. Iran's deputy commander-in-chief, Ali Fad Abi, stated that Iran could destroy everything Israel has accumulated over its 76 years of existence in a single strike. Further, Iran's top military leaders have announced that they are preparing an attack that Israel will regret for a lifetime, one that will make Israel reconsider any future aggression against Iran. Iran under understands that if this attack proves highly destructive, the situation could change significantly. Saudi Arabia, for instance, has clearly stated that it will not be involved and has not provided airspace for any operations, which several other countries have also done. The US, amidst its elections, has added complexity to this scenario, with Trump reportedly telling Netanyahu that the wars in Gaza and Lebanon must end before he takes office. Consequently, if Israel seeks a ceasefire in Gaza, it will also need to negotiate with Iran. A major development is that Iran is positioned positioning its missiles in areas that can easily target Israel, including Fateh and Kaibar Shurkan missiles. This time, the missile count could reach a thousand, as additional systems are being moved, along with advanced drones for a coordinated assault. With previous experiences, Iran's military seems better prepared for such an operation. Meanwhile, the US and Israel are focusing on locating the exact timing of Iran's attack, but regardless of any preparations, they may not be able to stop it. Iran's missile success rate is reportedly 85 to 90 percent, which shows high reliability. In recent footage released by a person in Israel, scenes of Iran's previous attack were described as unprecedented. Israeli authorities have since banned any public disclosure of military base footage, warning Israeli Arabs who have Israeli passports and work permits against sharing any images or interviews about Iran's attack, with arrests and charges for any violations. One wonders why Israel, with the world's powers and Europe standing by its side, would still fear Iran to such an extent. Iran claims it has the power to destroy everything Israel has built within 30 minutes. This time, Iran's supreme leader seems resolute. Israel had previously planned a massive attack with around 100 fighter jets, but Iran's air defenses thwarted it, which surprised the world. If Iran proceeds with its planned strike, it could be costly for Israel.